Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we are back in ranked battles. Now, I know we're showing a lot of ranked battles here lately and you got to bear with me. Just as much as I'm a content creator, I'm also a player and I am trying to finish these ranked battles. Now, uh, I got together with a buddy last night. You guys may know him. You'll see his name popping up top left corner, Soviet Death. Me and him have had quite a quite a lot of fun playing together uh whether it's world of warships which i believe this was actually the first time we've played world of warships legends together so uh that's a thing but it was also um it was just a fun time like whenever we get together we get together play uh, borderlands 2 or borderlands 3 or you know just have a have a lot of fun we'll play for a few hours on a saturday or sunday just have a good time and we are gonna have quite the time in this one uh, it's not gonna go as planned So hopefully you guys stick around and watch till the end because it's gonna be fun <laughs> You know not every match is one of those where you just go out and obliterate everybody Sometimes you got to work for it. This is one of those times <laughs> This is one of those times where it just not, doesn't quite go the, the way we thought it would but yet somehow Well, you guys will just have to see and 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 see for yourselves now we are in the Queen Elizabeth. I've been jumping back and forth between Queen Elizabeth and the Arizona, and I've jumped in a destroyer a couple times, but it takes so long for me to get into a match as a destroyer that it doesn't it doesn't help me at all. So I just stick to my battleships. It's what I'm best at anyway. So uh, yeah, between this and the Arizona, um, there is another ship that I need to need to get you guys a video in that I got the other day. Per Probably the most requested ship I have ever had on the channel. So, uh, you know, that's a thing. <laughs> Keep your eye out for a new meet the ship in a short amount of time. Hopefully. It, sometimes it takes me a little longer than others. Also, it's, it's a tier that I don't normally play. Uh, so, the fact that, you know, I could potentially get you guys a good replay in it. Hopefully. At some point but for now we are in the Queen and we're gonna go ahead and I think that we're gonna be able to hit him here so we just fire the guns he's not quite in range but with the dispersion when you're not selected a target and you just fire there's a good chance you're gonna hit him anyway uh, as long as you get one good shell and there we go it shattered but we hit him <laughs> you'll miss every shot you don't take right so you might as well take the shot now I'm going to be real honest. Yes, we see their battleships. But we only see their battleships because they fire the guns. Yet, we are detected this entire time. Why would we be detected, guys? You guys are smart. You guys know what I'm, I'm hinting at here. Somebody is coming through the center of the map, right? And I said this immediately. Now, I was saying it mostly because I wanted a uh, Soviet to pay attention because he's in a cruiser and he would be able to come back and destroy this destroyer that's most likely, well, no, not most likely, is coming through the center of the map. Like, he's the one spotting us and it's not because he went to sea and he's coming, no. Like, the, the person spotting me had me spotted for so long that he has to be in the center. There's no other way around it. So we're going to go ahead and change direction now that we're getting close to our base. Uh, we've already got our base capped. They've got their base capped. And they have B. Not preferable. Not preferable at all. But what can you do? Now, we got to be careful. We know that somebody is stalking us. I've, I've got the goose pimples on the back of... Goose pimples, really. Goosebumps, goose pimples, it's all the same thing. Don't make fun of them. They didn't know about proactive back in the day. <laughs> anyway, that's that's a dumb joke, and I apologize. We are going to try to be aggressive. Oh, hello, Fabuki. How are you? <laughs> you have picked a bad spot, brother. And it's not going to go in your favor. We go ahead, get the shot out before he takes off. Are we going to connect? Wait for it. Yeah. Yeah, we do. 1300, and because we changed course... We get lucky and uh, avoid the first salvo of torpedoes from somebody and uh, angry smoke screen now to our left. So now that we know there's somebody there for sure, now we have to be on guard for more torpedoes. 
and we are detected again. Now, it could be the Fubuki that's ahead of us that was shot, potentially, or it could be somebody else that we just can't see yet. So, which is it? Now, because I know there's a destroyer, he's already launched torpedoes at me once. Hey, look, torpedoes! By the way, spotter plane, very good for finding torpedoes. And look at this torpedo beat skills! Come on, baby, turn! Okay, straight, straight, straight. Beautiful! All the dodge, and you can suck it! <laughs> suck it, Fabuki! I don't know who launched him at me. Uh, oh, yes, yes, I do. It's a T61. How do you know that, Spartan? Oh, don't worry. We're about to find out. <laughs> uh, so, that was fun, right? Like, I saw those torpedoes just in enough time because my, my plane actually happened to be in the perfect place at the right time to actually spot something useful. <laughs> and that's not the last time that that's going to happen. Remember, I don't use my planes a whole... Oh, hello. What are you doing? I've already got high explosive loaded in, you know, really. Now, we did break a lot of stuff, but I have outright deleted T-61s with one salvo from this thing of high explosive. And so he's very lucky that he's not dead. But why would he come out broadside on, guys? Anybody? <laughs> because he's launching torpedoes, right? So we can expect... Look at that. Torpedoes! <laughs> Who'd have thunk it? You know, it's like cruisers and destroyers that, that sail broadside on to you from point-blank range knowing that they're going to get hit could only possibly be doing it for one reason. <laughs> torpedoes! So, you know it's coming, you avoid it, and the big nasty torpedoes don't hurt. <laughs> it's funny how that works. But anyway... Now that that's done, we're on fire, and some of you are probably like, What, Spartan, you're burning! No, it's one fire, leave it alone. We're in a British battleship, we got heels, pump the heel. We're, we're good. No worries, mate. <laughs> it's fine, as Bullvibe would say. So now we're going to put ourselves in the center of the map. Now, if you notice, straight ahead, our two ships are outnumbered 3-2 to two, that we know of. There's a destroyer, a cruiser, and a battleship versus our destroyer and battleship that's not good odds for those guys i don't know how well they're going to do all i know is they're outnumbered and there's a potential that they could get killed so i need to help my team that is here with me deal with these guys quickly and hello new mexico come on clear the mountain spartan don't shoot the mountain the mountain didn't hurt nobody yet and there it goes keyword yet oh crap we're still on high explosive God, I can be a potato sometimes. But it's not the worst thing that could happen. Why? Because it, it did damage. And British High Explosive, we've said it before, we'll say it again, is very good. <laughs> it is. It's not as good as the Japanese High Explosive, but it's still very good. And uh, Fabuki has royally made mistakes in his life. He'd already taken hits from us and the cruiser before uh, Soviet got obliterated. Uh, but now he has picked a gunfight with a mayhem. Do we need to say how that's going to end? <laughs> yeah. Oh, the Dunkirk comes in and steals it. Bet you didn't see that coming. But the Bayern is broadside to us, and that is the power of that short fuse armor piercing. It's disgusting. 13,000 damage from that salvo. No Citadel. You don't need them. I've said it before. I'll say it again. The consistency of these armor-piercing rounds to do damage. Now remember, these are bigger than the armor-piercing rounds that the King George gets. King George gets small guns. This gets 381 millimeter guns. That's why I like it so much. And because they're double turrets, they reload very fast, which is another reason I like it. And cool people don't look at explosions. We knew he was going to die in that salvo. It's time to prepare for the next fight. Hello, Leander. <laughs> I've been expecting you. How are you? Wait for it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah, he's bow tanking, so this isn't going to hurt him near as much as it could have. Unfortunately. But it's still going to touch him. <laughs> Wait for it. Pow! Really? Really? We get two overpins through the bow of a ship? How? How can an armor... A short... 
diffuse armor piercing round go through the bow of a ship and overpin. Hmm? Explain yourself, Wargaming. <laughs> now, I know what happened. The shot ended up going through the deck and down through the ship that way, which is fine. I'm just picking because that's what I do. It's commentary. You try to be funny once in a while. I fail most of the time, but every once in a while you pull a little nugget. The ship is on fire. Now, why would a Leander get this close, knowing that I could delete him? Anybody? Yes, it's called torpedoes. Now, as you can see, we are already changing course. We've changed course to close the distance. Why? Because he's in a smoke screen that lasts two minutes. So we need to get close in order to force him to do something. Now we get set on fire because the Fuso is spamming high explosive at us. Which isn't the worst thing in the world, but it does hurt. And lo and behold, our spotter plane that we put up, uh, just in time for him to come back home, spots the torpedoes from the Leander, and we get to dodge them the easiest way possible. Now, we know the Leander only gets four per side, so why would he launch those there and then suddenly rush out the smoke screen to the other, other direction? Right? Surely he wouldn't do that, but we're expecting him to do that. Why wouldn't, why wouldn't he? His sole way of damaging me at this point would be torpedoes. However, unfortunately for him, we didn't overpin this time. <laughs> it said we only got one Citadel, but I'm fairly confident most of those rounds would have Citadeled him if we didn't need just one to kill him. <laughs> but he's down. He didn't get a chance to launch his torpedoes, and guess what? There's a Fuso sailing broadside on to a battleship. We're bow tanking, and this thing reminds me so much of the Alabama. The ability to bow tank and then turn in and take shots and then turn back to bow tanking is disgusting. I love it in battleships. The drawback is because of your um, not as long design, your wider... And I, people get on me all the time, whoops, Spartan, I've looked it up, the Alabama and the... Uh, uh, Iowa, they're the same width and all, I, I understand. But in the game, that's not how they play. In the game, the Alabama gets pinned much more through the deck because it gets it's it looks wider in the game. I could be wrong, but uh, two citadels later and down goes the Fuso. You can't sail broadside forever, guys. You're going to get paddled. That's just the way it works. So using the steering ability of the Queen Elizabeth to its fullest potential is absolutely beautiful when it works so uh but as i said you've got to be careful because over angling in the queen elizabeth will get you paddled right back as we saw in the last video where afuso reached out and touched us while we were angled but as you can see we are finally out of rank 10 hundred thousand damage three citadels three kills top leaderboard 2200 base xp not bad at all so if you like what i'm doing punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.